Uh, I just have my favorite kind of inbox inserts here that has like boxes for your thoughts. So when I look at this insert, I can easily um, differentiate from what I'm looking at. And then I just have another, well, this is actually a priority matrix insert from cloth and paper. And I just thought I'd throw it in here because it has like urgent, important, not urgent. If you know the priority matrix, that's um, how it's all split up, like not urgent, not important, et cetera, et cetera. And then TAS up here. So I thought it'd be a really good inbox insert. And then another um, boxed one from You Know You By Design. And then this one's a freebie from Sand Doodle's desk. And I really like it just to like put meh. Um, urgent or stat and then I can write anything in that I need and then I would just cross it off when it's done and then we come into some deco of course this is pretty heavy on the deco um, there's not a ton of inserts that I use secondarily regularly <laughs> but there are some and I really wanted a place to put them so I knew where they were and I had them when I would think of something before I forget and etc so the inbox basic um, this is from Sand Doodle's desk as well. It's awesome laminated name thingy. And then this one here is from The Organized. It's just, I printed it on vellum. And then I have a couple pictures there. And then this is another one of those postcards from Cloth and Paper that I cut up and it says, I wish you were here. So I thought it was perfect to put like with family. And then this one is a freebie actually from Watch Becca Plans. She just came out with a whole bunch of black and white ones and they're epic. So definitely check those out. Um, I'll link her in the description box below. This is from Pinterest or no Canva. I believe this was an image on Canva and I just sized it into personal size and then printed it and cut it up. And then we have like, what's the next section? These labels aren't totally correct. So let me just like see. I didn't feel like relabeling them because I switch around my sections so often lately. This is, okay, so this is kind of like plans section. This is from My Manual Planner. And this is a freebie from Nebula Dream Designs. And this was from HRH Handmade, Women Who Wear Black Lead Color for Lives. I kind of smudged it up there a little bit. It came perfectly. I really love that. So I have my cloth and paper weekly or cloth and paper monthly that comes with my um, dated weeklies in here. I don't need it in my main planner. So I thought, hell, I'll just throw it in um, my secondary planner just in case I want a monthly view. And then I have these from Paper Test Designs. I bought her bundle last year in 2023, but I'm still using it this year in 2024 because it's basically undated. There's no, um, there's no, well, it does say 2023 there, but that doesn't bug me. It just has like January to December, which I use for birthdays. And then it goes into these boxed um, monthly sections. So like January, February, March, all the way to December. And what I've done with those last year is I wrote any standout memories from the month that happened, good or bad. Uh, so I just wrote any and everything that I kind of want to remember that I don't want to forget or anything that's kind of stand out that happened in the month. So I have last year's because I do reference that a little bit well if I'm journaling. And then I have this from last year as well. This is from the planner spot and it's a fold up perpetual calendar and it's printable. And I just put all of my medical health appointments in here. So again, if I'm doing anything like or if a doctor even asks, I'm on the phone with the doctor, I know this is in here and I can look back at it if I need to. And then this is EO Edit, this butterfly transform, love it. This is just a Pinterest image that I printed on photo paper. So I liked how that layered. I really love how the um, letters are like shiny. <laughs> and then, so this is for this year. So even though it says 2023, this is for 2024. And it's only a couple days until April and that's why March is so filled up. And then I'll be moving to April when it starts, if anything happens, which I'm sure something will, good or bad, right? This is a Cat's Presso Co pocket with three by three card size slots. And this one's from Lux Designs. And it's a really nice, thick, soft, smooth dashboard. Really love it. It's a little bit, it's not totally perfectly length, uh, cut lengthwise, but doesn't really bother me. And then this is a card pocket holder from Collins. It came from a thrift store planner actually. And I just have um, some basic invite cards in here that I designed. And then this card here came from, I can't remember what it was a thank you card and I really love it. And then, so my next section here, so the, so the dividers, they change up their marble um, design every um, section cover. And we just have like an address change from plan with B. So some trigger lists. 
And this is like the list section, like the long-term list that I want to keep, but I don't need to look at them all the time in my everyday carry. Task reminders. Um, this one is a freebie of mine, actually. Um, the planner spot, this is a freebie. And then, so I just have like an old master list and an old things to buy list that I can't get rid of I'm, for some reason. Um, just like the finance rules um, that I read online. Um, another to-do list. And then I have my 2024 goals all written out. And then I have them categorized too by the Moxie Life system. That's why it's um, color coded. And then I just have like each month, I write on one sheet of paper, um, just a whole line of goals if I have them, which I have been having. So I have like January's, February, March, April's. And then, so yeah, that's all that I have in my long-term list right now. I, not much. Then this is from Cat's Espresso Co, this floral dashboard. And I just have a photo of, me and my family and then the little ones anything worth having takes time I thought that was appropriate because if you're a step parent you know building a relationship with the little ones takes a long time because you want it to happen organically and you want them to you want like so yeah you just basically want it to happen like um on its own and like not force anything so I thought that was a cool dashboard for that and then some more photos then this was a freebie as well from watch Becca plan and I love bloom where you were planted it's one of my favorite sayings and I just love the mushrooms and the simplicity of it and then we go into the next section and I have a little bit more deco boarding this section which is um just quarterly plans it looks like and holidays yeah so this is just from aesthetic paper co whoa sorry my pets were going a little buck wild the dog likes to get involved in the cat's affairs and I try to keep him out of it uh, this is from Aesthetic Paper Co. It's an etched, like, lux luxury dashboard, like the design. And then this is a freebie from Ivy Mill Inc. Choose what's good for your soul, not your ego. And I thought that was kind of funny to put over top of, like, this dashboard from Cloth and Paper that, it, like, has a bunch of luxury items on it. Choose what's good for your soul, not your ego. So just a little memory there that um, experiences over material things, maybe. <laughs> Trying to get deep into it. I don't know. And then this is from Infinite Lotus. This is a quarterly bundle. I have a repeat here. I just have birthdays on here, but actually on the quarterlies, I put all of British Columbia's holidays uh, because I remember the main holidays, but there's a lot of like little ones like Groundhog Day, I forget. Um, Daylight Savings is always on a different day um, each year, I feel like. And same with Easter. And there's also like Victoria Day that we celebrate. It's usually my, I don't know, is it always on May 20th? There's, you know, you know, there's some holidays that switch dates like every year, right? So just so I um, know what's going on. And then this is from Rosie Papa Tree. It was a freebie and it's the Canadian Holidays and Observances, which is super cool. And this is from May Paper Co. It's just a printable and it's 2024. Cloth and paper. Uh, this little guy's cloth and paper too. And then vellum. This one's from Noted Company. Very smooth and soft. And then this one, this beautiful dashboard is from Lux Designs as well. Nice and thick, really well made, and awesome design. And then for the next section here, it is trackers. So trackers that I don't necessarily have. Again, I feel like I'm like repeating myself so much, but trackers that I don't necessarily have to use every single day, but I want them available to me easily if I do need to use them. So I just have this um, vellum here. It's from Maria Plans. It was a freebie. Sorry, this is acetate, not vellum. Okay, huh. Orlando, my dog. You can, can you just chill with the paws? Don't be dancing right now, please. Too early for that. Oh, here he is. Okay, I'll pet him to try to calm him down. And then this is from Planarity on Etsy. And this is SM Plans. It comes in a peonies bundle. And this is a freebie from the planner spot. Sign up for her email list and then she'll give you a password every time she sends out freebies to access them on her website. Then I have a cleaning tracker from Perfective Paper. This is my favorite cleaning tracker, cleaning tracker ever because it's just one page. Usually I found most of them are double page, like they go across the line and I have a hard time, my brain, after it gets passed onto the second page, I kind of get going all over the place. Like it's hard to keep in line with check marks and the boxes and everything, if that makes sense. So it goes by month. And then the reason why this can fit on one page is that they have the month stacked into two rows. So the first day um, is the first box and then right underneath it would be the 17th. And then it kind of just goes from like one to 16, 17 to 31 or however many days there are in the month. And then these are my daily tasks that I do. Um, I didn't, I, okay, so March was a no tracker month for me. I needed a little break. So that's why there's nothing filled out. 
I did do some stuff, guys. I, I trust me, my house isn't falling down. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so like things I do every day, like dishes, laundry, table, clean the tables, clean the counters, clean the stove, wipe it down, um, take the cans out and like clean the pet bowl. And then it has like a little weekly section for things that you want to do once a week. So like vacuum, we usually vacuum more than once a week, but at least once a week, toilets in the sinks, um, changing the towels, changing the bedding, taking out the garbage, taking out the recycling, depending on um, which week it is for that. Cause our weeks alternate for pickups. Um, changing the litter, which is more of an everyday task, unfortunately now, <laughs> and dusting. And then it has like the monthly section. So it has like all the monthly tasks. So I have like wash the floors, wipe the walls, wash the um, couch blankets, um, the kids bedding. The kids are only here on the weekends. So they're only here two nights um, a week. So that's why we can leave the bedding to go for a little bit longer than I normally would like every week um, because they're only sleeping in it two nights a week. And then so like cleaning the baseboards and the pantry, the fridge, and then the windowsill where the dog likes to lay his face down and bark at people outside. It's a disaster. Yeah. He's a 160 pound Newfie St. Bernard and he's, his jowls almost touched his knees. I swear to God. And then my next insert here is recurring tasks and it's from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's for, I labeled it 2024 so I don't get confused because you know that happens easily for me. <laughs> and these are tasks or things that might happen once a month. And so like getting my hair done, I'd like to check it off so I can look back when I'm making my next appointment. Even though mostly for my hair, I just look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, my roots are getting bad because I'm a natural brunette and my hair is blonde. So I'll book it then. But it's nice to just know easily at a glance about when it was last time we did it. Um, I have to get regular blood tests done and here I had a couple more extra ones too. So that's kind of nice to check oil changes, um, changing my toothbrushes, uh, and then having a date night once a month. So I would check it off there going to the dentist. I checked that off going to the dentist is like once every six months. So I won't be checking it off every month. I'll just be checking it off the next time I go, which will be over here somewhere, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then I want to start going tanning again so I can check that off if I go, but I have to buy a package and it's not the budget right now. Um, like meetings and getting my nails done. I don't do that. I, I've been using Kiss um, press on nails and they work pretty well. They stay on for about a week and a half, but if I ever do get my nails done, <laughs> I'll check it off. And same with lashes, don't get them done anymore. But if I do, check it off <laughs> and just getting my ring cleaned at the jeweler and my sub box and making sure I get it every month. So those are the kind of things that I track on a monthly yearly basis. And then this is the fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. And it comes in her yearly bundle pack with three inserts that are all fold outs. And I really like this one. And I have these stickers here from an Etsy shop on Etsy, okay. <laughs> and Etsy shop that is a printables. So I print them out and I have them cut out on my Cricut and they're little recycling or garbage icons. And then, so I'm just putting them on each day because we get, we have an app where I live and it'll show you a couple months in advance about what days you're going to have your recycling or garbage picked up on. So instead of always opening my app because I prefer paper over digital, of course, <laughs> I, uh, that's how I'm utilizing this insert. And then just a little bit of deco. This one's from Studio 17 on Bellum. And then I have my cycle tracker. And this is another Peanuts Planner Co. insert. And it has January to June on the front and then the rest of the year on the back. And what I do is I put a dot on the day my period starts. And then I'll put a dot on the day my period ends. And I'll connect it with the line. And then you can kind of get a nice view um, across the months about like, hey, am I being regular or what's going on there? And then this is from May Paper Co. It's a 30 day habit tracker and I'm using it to track for when I read the Bible. It's going great guys. It's, you can tell it's going really good. <laughs> so we're in April now, so I didn't even read one page in March, but at least I read it once. That's no, it can be so much better. But so what I'm doing is I'm using this whole thing for reading the Bible, but you can change um, each one for a different habit. If you want like um, drinking, however many liters of water, uh, exercising, stretching, and then you can check it off that way. For me, I just wanted to use it all um, to get a bird's eye view of how much I'm reading it. <laughs> Sorry, gone. And then this is from EO Edits, and I thought it was good to put over the book log because it's letters. And this book log is from My Minimal Planner. I actually just got it today. She's having a sale on right now, and it's 16% off and check her website today is march 29th i think it goes on until the middle of april 
Don't quote me though. But yeah, check it out if you're watching this in real time. And then yeah, so you just put the title, start date, finish date, which I think is really, um, I'm really curious to know how long it's going to take me to read books. Uh, and because I'm just getting back into reading again. I like it, but I just don't, I don't reach for it from if I have some spare time. It's not the first thing I reach for. And it should be when I'm going to bed at least. And then a rating for it. And then book of the month from my middle planner. <laughs> so I only read the Bible in January and February. So those have to be my book of the month. And then I started reading Britney Spears autobiography, which is pretty good. And it's an easy, easy read. And I'm a Britney Spears fan, true and true. Like I grew up in the 90s and I just... I just love her and I just like her music brings back so much memories and I can bop to it anytime. So I'm enjoying the book. I've taken it out from the library, but I'm already on the third renewal. So pray for me that I can get it done by the time I have to take it back because there's no more renewing it. <laughs> and then I just have a follower tracker from Infinite Lotus. I kind of just did it once and then I haven't gone back to it yet. So I don't know if I'm going to take it out. I mean, I bought the insert, so I don't really want to waste it. So I'm going to try to do that a little bit more often. This is a freebie from My Manual Planner. It's before the year ends. And I just have a whole, it's basically a bucket list for everything that I wanna get done before this 2024 year ends. And then this is also a freebie from her. It's dated for 2021, but it doesn't bother me again. I'll just, and this is June, July, August for the summer bucket list. And then um, just put in things there that you wanna do each month. And then it's kind of good to make like a game plan. So then if you're like, sitting around like one summer day, especially if you have kids and everyone's bored and wondering what to do, you can look to your list and be like, oh yeah, I really want to do that or something like that. And this is from The Organized and I printed it on vellum. This is just an insert that I made on um, Canva just for my daily routine. And then this is another, this is one of my freebies. You can find them linked in the description box below. Um, I always have them there. Uh, so it's just the different planner sizes so you can reference. This is from Queen City Designs and I thought it was cute to have over the palms. Planner babes, <laughs> so cutie. So these are a couple of our, uh, my parents' dogs that I grew up with, they still have them. And then this is Orlando, this is our 160 pound Newfie St. Bernard dog. And then this is Maya, she's not 160 pounds, but she's she's not there, she's not there, but she's so fluffy and cute, I think she's perfect. And that's Maya, and that's old Teddy, he's the newest addition to our family. And yeah, so then I just have a dashboard here from cloth and paper and then another photo of the little ones holding the Pomeranians. And this is from Lux Designs again. And it's super smooth like velvet, Venice. I went backpacking around Europe in 2016 and we went to Italy a few times, like in and out of the country a couple times to different parts of it. So I just, just bring back, brings back memories. Uh, this is from Noted Company, pretty sure, or Aesthetic Paper Co. One of the two. I don't know why I can't ever remember, but it's one of those two. And it's a really nice thick vellum. And then my last section here is just like kind of like finance-y stuff. So I have a month on one page from Rosie Papa Tree. Where are you? Oh, just a little deck of <laughs> This is a freebie from My Minimal Planner, Seven Baby Steps. And then on the back, it has types of income. This is from, you know, edits. This is number one. Um, so I really utilized it well for tracking my bills in March. So I'm going to, I'm trying to turn it around for April. So I just have like, I use this as a bills overview. If I don't want to pull out my finance planner, which can be quite bulky. And then I just have an order tracker. This is from Wise Coffee Break. I really love her shop. She keeps adding a lot of new things too. So I recommend checking her out. This is from May Paper Co. And okay, so I have a couple... I have a few type of inserts that I just love to buy and to collect and to use. And some of those are list inserts and order trackers. Don't know why, don't know why, but I just, so for no reason at all, other than I can't decide which design to use. I have them both in here. This is a return tracker that I made. I posted it on my freebies and only the personal size. And it's just pretty basic. It's not hundred percent like perfect, but it just has like a date, the item, if you returned it, and then if you received your refund. Yeah, and, that, and I couldn't find one anywhere that just had these basic um, prompts. So I just made that on Canva. This is made Paper Co. back here. I printed a design on. This is a cloth and paper wish list. This is an Infinite Lotus wish list with like, um, it gives you a little bit more detail. So I'm putting like my highest up wish list items on here and then like setting a date, maybe in a goal. This is a gift list on here from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is perfect because I use it for like if somebody's birthday is coming up, I'll write them in there. And then 
And if, and if their birthday's coming up and then I'm, it's Christmas the next day, I'll just put their name twice, but it's for different events. So I have it split up. Um, that's why, and you can have it cost their, your item ideas and where to get it from. And then this is from Sticky Monster Co. It has my name written on there, it's etched. It's gorgeous. And then this was just an image that I found on Pinterest and then I sized on Canva and printed on photo paper to make a dashboard. And then I just have an Amazon page lifter back here. And then I just have a whole bunch of cards. Like this one's from Noted Company, it's the April card. This one's Queen City Designs. Um, this one's from Lux Designs. Um, basic Invite, Cloth and Paper, Queen City Designs, Studio 17. Even though you can't really see them that much. <laughs> this is Queen City, no sorry, this is Twines and Paper. This one's Twines and Paper. Sorry, I'm glad I pulled it out. And yeah, so I hope I didn't breeze through that too quick, but it's mostly like there's minimal inserts in here and a lot of it was deco and I always like to explain where I got the deco from even if I sound like a broken record just because when I'm watching videos and I see something that I really like and if the person doesn't say where it's from I'm like no and then you can always comment and stuff too but <laughs> if y'all know me I'm not the best at getting back in my comments and messages it's a goal for mine for 2024 um to work on being better with that because you guys are really important to me and what you say is very um important and valuable and just wonderful and I always want to take it in and a lot of the time I do read it but I just haven't I'll be busy and I'll read it and then I'll forget to come back and reply something like that so but I like to have a good amount of time set aside where I can sit down collect my thoughts and like really reply intentionally to you guys and like put my heart into it because you guys deserve nothing but the best and so yeah, so yeah, this is my little flip of my extension planner in the personal size. Hope you guys liked it. Happy planning.